A few moments later. Alright, so let's take a look at some of the latest features inside Create Studio and how you can use them in your projects. So the first one we've got is Clip Speed, which has been a really highly requested feature uh, and it basically enables you to adjust the speed of any video clip or audio track. So let's just play this video here. You can see this one's uh, a video clip that's already in slow motion by the way that it's been created. Um, but if I want to make it even slower, I could drag it to the left using the speed option on the settings panel. And you'll be able to see if I just preview this, that it's a lot slower, it's kind of like a slow motion pace. And if I wanted to speed that up, I could just drag it to the right and you have to see now it's a lot faster like so. So I'm gonna go and bring this one to 50%. And in the opening video, you would have seen how it was kind of going slow and then it went to fast. So if you wanna do something like that, what you could do is um, you know set it to where you want. Let's say I wanna make this one slow and I'm just gonna rename this one fast. And this one here, I'm just gonna drag it to the left and to about two seconds or so. And this one's at 50% speed. And this one over here, I'm gonna drag it from the left to the right so that they match up on the exact same time. And you can make sure you can just zoom in a bit closer to make sure that it's right in line like so. And for this one, I'm gonna adjust the speed and make it 300%. So it's gonna go really slow and then it's gonna hit this one and go a lot faster, okay? So let's just preview that. Cool, so that's how you can add you know, a different speed to your video clips and audio tracks. The next feature we've got is Spotlight. So on the top menu bar, you'll be able to see we've got new icons as well to make it a lot easier to navigate. And if you click on Spotlight, what this basically does is add a nice spotlight to your overall video project. So anything underneath the Spotlight layer will be um, kind of like masked in a way. So you can adjust things like the opacity, so you can make it 100% like so. You can also adjust the color, so let's say you want to make it blue for example, or a white, like that. And you'll be able to see also if I just go back over here, um, you can adjust the size, let's just bring it up. So this is great for like really kind of focusing in on certain objects or um, characters and things like that. Um, and you can also adjust the feather around the edges, so if you want it to be a lot smoother like so, you can do that. So it's not so harsh on the lines, and let's say I want to maybe expand this like so. You can see we've got a really nice looking kind of frame around the outside of our clip. And if you made this black, you can basically create an instant viennet for your footage, like so. Um, and you can also adjust the shape as well. So if you want a rectangular shape, you can do that as well. And I'll just resize this down. Let's just bring down the scale over here. And you can really play around with this in, as well as animating the actual spotlight as well to create some cool effects. So I'm gonna go back over here and I'll show you how you can create a transition with the spotlight. So something like this. And if I adjust the size and make this one actually a circle like so, it's looking really cool. So to do that, what you would do is basically click on spotlight. Let's just make this a lot bigger. I'm just gonna scale it up like so. I also adjust the opacity, make it 100%. And let's go with white for this tr uh, transition. And what I want to do is go to the drop down, click on animations and select scale. And it's going to start over here at this point uh, at, outside the actual video. And then I'm going to scale it down to 0% over here. And I'm going to right click on this one and duplicate reverse. So it's going to go in and it's going to come out. And I'll just offset it a little bit so it has a bit of time as white and then it starts to scale up. So you're about to preview this like that. So this is looking really cool. Um, what we could also do is, let's say we want to adjust the feathering. Let's make it a little bit more like so. And that's looking really good. And you can also adjust the easing if you want to be a bit different, like maybe both coming in and out. Let's just preview that. 
it's looking really good. So that's how, you can, that's how you can create transitions. As I showed you also before, you can create vignettes just by adding the spotlight, adjusting the uh, overall, let's just go and make it over here. So adjusting the actual um, edge fading feathering over here. You can add a really nice spotlight. Maybe you'd, if you don't want it to be so harsh, you could just bring down the opacity and you can add your footage be beneath that. And let's just do that actually, and I'll show you again what that looks like. Let's go and grab this one. Let's bring this up and bring this down like so. So let's just make the opacity a bit bigger. And you can see it makes this really nice kind of cinematic type feel to your footage. So this is with it and this is without it. Like so, cool. Uh, the next one I want to show you is how to create like a really cool looking background effect. So if I just play this through, you can see I've got this really nice looking gradient type background. Um, to do this, what I did was basically created a shape. I'll just go and do it from scratch again. So let's go and go to shapes. I'm gonna go to rectangle and just scale this one up. And I'm gonna do the color over here and go to radial gradient. And I'm gonna select a blue color and also maybe a purpley pink color like this. Just drag this out a bit. Um, let's have a look. Maybe something like that. And then what I'm gonna do is go to spotlight and I'm going to make the color white and I'm going to make the edge feather quite big as well and I'm just going to scale this one up like so and bring it across like that cool so that's looking really good I could also adjust the color let's say maybe you want to make it a green type color like so and what you can do is like animate this spotlight to create a really cool effect I might make this a bit more teal type color like this and if I just zoom in a bit place it like so I'm going to go to the animation properties, go to animation position, and maybe also adjust the scaling as well. And actually, I'm going to also adjust the color, so let's just select color as well. And what we're going to do is just move this over slightly and adjust the scale slightly as well. And also at the end, I'm going to make the color, let's go with maybe a red type color, like so. And let's preview that. It's looking cool. And what I could do is then duplicate reverse it and maybe also. Um, change the color a bit orange or something like that and adjust the scale so we have a little bit more variation uh, let's go maybe the opacity could be a little bit lower like so as well so it's just a nice kind of feature that you can use to create some cool looking backgrounds um, and yeah that's those main features inside the editor with the clip speed and the spotlight and if we go outside of the editor You'll be able to see you can also now go ahead and export and import projects. So let's go to Clip Speed. I'm just going to uh, go click on this button, Export Project. We can then go ahead and you know, add a name for the project, select where you want to save it to, and click on Save. And this enables you to basically share your projects with your other devices. And if you're an All Access Pass member, you can also share projects with other All Access Pass members. And you know, if you've got an agency license, you can share it with your team. So let's go to Import Project, and then click on the one that we've just exported. You'll be able to see we've got this project here and yeah, we can go through and edit it um, really quickly and easily. So that's the main features that we've added inside Create Studio. Make sure to download the latest version to see these updates inside your account. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and add a comment below. And as always, have fun creating.